We're gonna tie this jig in five minutes and we're starting right now. All right guys, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our cutters and cut this lead off the lower half of the shank. Kind of like so. Sometimes they come off easy, sometimes they don't. All right, let's go ahead and put it in the vise. And we wanna start with a good thread base. I like to go all the way down to where the tip of the hook would be located. Kind of lined up, you know? And let's bring it all the way back. All right. Cut our tag line off. Now, next thing we'll start with is our feathers. Start with the widest one on the bottom. Place it somewhere around right there. Get it started. We'll position it how we like it, something like that. And that looks good. That looks good. Now let's take our orange feather so we can two tone it. Place that right there. And wrap it loose at first so you can move your placement. I'm gonna line that booger up and you can go tight. All right. Next we'll take a little bit of flash. I generally just take it, fold it in half. Trim it later. Lay it on the shank. Wrap that in there as well. And let's bring it on back. Yeah, that looks good. Now we'll take our Chanel. This once again is from Barlow's Tackle. If you look in the bottom of the description, you'll see all the links to these items and more. Barlow's Tackle, I like them guys. So we're gonna wrap this in right to the end of the feathers, like so. Let's bring it all the way back up to the lead head. And when I wrap my Chanel, I like to go the same direction as my string. I like to wrap it tight too. Ain't nothing worse than pulling the jig up Ain't been in the water long and it comes unraveled. So let's wrap that booger tight all the way up to the lead head. Now when you get all the way up to the lead, simply flip over and then that will secure the end of that Chanel. I go around about three times, probably all you need. All right. Now let's take it and cut our Chanel loose. couple more wraps and time for the whip finisher tricky item once you get it it's simple take your whip finisher pinch it right here lay it flat on your string hook it at the top bring the bottom up and let go simple makes it a little triangle and next you'll just wrap it around your head Tilt forward, release, pull back, and it's tight. Easy. Cut our tag line off. Get our compound. Give it one drop, and there you have it. Now that is a good looking jig.